In recent years, DARPA and major companies like Boeing, BAE Systems, and Tesla have invested heavily in developing military electric aircraft. While hydrogen may power future civilian aircraft, its storage challenges make it unsuitable for military use. Aircraft electrification has three levels. The first level is aircraft with increased electrification. They implement the traditional concept, when the engines create a force that pushes the aircraft through the airflow. But wing adjustments, landing gear release, bomb bay opening, and so on are performed by electric drives. They are powered by the power supply system and convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Currently, the hydraulic system, which consists of pumps and an extensive network of pipelines, is responsible for controlling secondary functions in the aircraft. If the pressure in the hydraulic system suddenly disappears, it will be impossible to control or release the landing gear. The cause of fluid release and pressure drop is usually loss of tightness. The second level of electrification involves aircraft with hybrid power plants. Internal combustion engines burn chemical fuel, then the resulting energy is converted into electrical power which is supplied to the aircraft's onboard systems. With the addition of advanced combat systems, avionics, and high-energy weapons, the next generation of military aircraft will require significantly more electric power than current aircraft. This makes hybrid systems essential for supersonic fighters. Recently, there have been successful tests of a generator integrated into an aircraft power plant. This engine, equipped with generators, was installed on Mitsubishi F-1 fighters, Supercat Jaguar fighter bombers, and BAE Hawk and McDonnell Douglas T-45 Goshawk trainer aircraft. The third level of electrification refers to fully electric aircraft, which do not use internal combustion engines at all. These aircraft do not require liquid fuel, greatly simplifying logistics and operational use in combat conditions electric aircraft flying into the future of clean aviation. In a world increasingly focused on sustainability, electric aircraft stand at the forefront of a green aviation revolution, with the potential to drastically reduce emissions, noise, and maintenance costs, they promise a safer and more environmentally responsible future for global flight. From nimble two-seaters to regional airliners, a growing number of electric planes are taking to the skies. While challenges remain, the journey toward electric flight is gaining serious altitude. 1. What are electric aircraft? Electric aircraft are airplanes powered either fully or partially by electric propulsion systems. Rather than relying on kerosene-based jet fuel, these aircraft use electric motors fed by batteries, fuel cells, or hybrid combinations. Types of electric aircraft. Fully electric, battery electric. Use batteries alone to power electric motors. Hybrid electric. Combine traditional engines with electric motors to improve efficiency. Hydrogen electric. Use hydrogen fuel cells to generate electricity on board. This new generation of aircraft is designed primarily for short haul and regional flights though long-haul concepts are also in early development. 2. Why electric flight? Air travel currently accounts for about 2.5% of global CO2 emissions, a number expected to rise as air traffic grows. Electric aircraft generate zero emissions during flight when charged with clean electricity. Operational savings. Electric planes have fewer moving parts, meaning less wear, simpler maintenance, and lower fuel costs. This could translate to ticket savings for consumers and lower operating costs for airlines. 3. Battery Technology – The Core Challenge Despite their promise, electric planes face a key hurdle – energy density. 4. Leading Electric Aircraft Products Aviation Alice – Type – Nine-Seat Commuter Range, 400 to 500 miles. 
power, two electric motors. Alice is one of the first purpose-built all-electric regional aircraft designed for short-haul routes like Boston to New York or London to Paris. Part Aerospace ES-30 Type 30-seat regional plane Range 125 miles electric 250 plus miles hybrid Backers Air Canada United Airlines Part Aerospace aims to bring electric air travel to regional networks by 2028, particularly in Nordic countries and remote communities. Pipistrel Velis Electro Type Two-Seat Trainer Notable First electric aircraft certified in Europe. Used by flight schools, the Velis Electro has already logged thousands of training hours and demonstrated that electric propulsion can meet real-world demands. Major players across the aviation ecosystem are heavily investing in electric flight. Airbus, developing hybrid and hydrogen electric concepts under the Zero-E initiative. Boeing, partnering with NASA on hybrid electric propulsion. Rolls-Royce, testing electric motors and powertrains for aircraft. NASA, investing in electric X-planes like the X-57 Maxwell. Economic impact, regional revitalization. Electric aircraft could make small regional airports profitable again. Lower operating costs allow new routes to open, connecting underserved towns and islands affordably. Job creation. Electric aviation is expected to create tens of thousands of new jobs in aircraft manufacturing, battery and fuel cell technology, airport infrastructure, pilot training for electric-specific systems, airline savings. Fuel costs make up to about 20 to 30 percent of an airline's expenses. Replacing jet fuel with electricity could cut costs by half on some routes, boosting profitability. Electric aircraft in the military. While most military aircraft require extreme range and speed, electric propulsion has strategic value in drones, electric UAVs are quieter and cheaper to operate, training aircraft, reduce costs and emissions for routine flights, stealth missions, low noise electric propulsion helps evade detection. Nations like the US, UK and Israel are actively exploring electric or hybrid electric options for specific defense roles. Real-world case studies. Norway's Green Skies Plan. Norway, with its many short hop routes across fjords and mountains, plans to make all domestic flights electric by 2040. The country is already testing electric aircraft and building airport charging networks. Regulation and safety. A major hurdle for electric aviation is certification. Aircraft must pass rigorous safety tests before being allowed to fly commercially. ESA has certified the Velis Electro and is working on frameworks for hybrid eVTOL aircraft. FAA created new guidelines for eVTOL certification in the US. Battery safety, thermal management, and electrical redundancy are major focuses for regulators. Challenges still to overcome. Public trust and awareness needs greater exposure and transparency. Conclusion A greener, quieter, more accessible sky. Electric aircraft represent one of the most transformative technologies in modern aviation. While they won't replace every jetliner overnight, their role in short-haul, urban, and regional air mobility will be critical in the coming decades. With cleaner skies, quieter engines, and affordable distributed air travel, electric aviation has the power to reconnect communities, reduce environmental impact, and inspire the next generation of aerospace engineers and aviators. As battery technology improves and infrastructure catches up, the electric future of flight won't just be possible, it will be inevitable. Thanks so much for joining us. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please click the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one. We'll see you next time.